Hey everyone, how's it going? Hassan here. I want to do another vlog for you all today. Just got home from work and I figured, you know what, I have some time to let me record this little vlog. And this vlog is something a bit more personal in a way. You know, I wanted to share something with you all about something that's been kind of going on. And I wanted to, um, you know, I, I don't have to necessarily tell everybody, but I figured you're probably going to figure it out eventually and I might as well go ahead and, and explain it to you all. And, and, and the point of all these vlogs is I want to take you all with me on my life journey. You know, you get to see all the different things that, that go on in my life, and I, and I want to bring you all with me uh, through through this journey. So I wanted to kind of share this with you all as well. Um, and I'm sure, you know, I, I don't know what kind of comments I'm going to get about it, but I know what I, what I decided, and I'm perfectly happy with it. So just kind of disclaimer out there, I, you know, whatever you think, that's fine, but... I've made my my decision essentially. So, uh, all right. So here's here's kind of this this thing that I want to tell people. Um, basically, some people already know this, but um, I have, as you can tell, you know, you can see from my head, I've gone bald essentially. Um, this happened a couple of years ago, really two three years ago is when it really started. Um, and in the past couple of years, you can go back and watch my older videos and then look at me now and you'll see how rapidly it happened. Uh, I am only 24 years old and yet I am already bald, basically. Um, it, it is genetics, essentially. Um, and it's, you know, typically your, your mother's father. So, uh, you know, if your, your grandfather on your, on your mother's side is, is bald, then, you know, you potentially you have some genetics that, that could make you bald as well. And, and my grandfather did get bald at an early age. Not as early as me, but um, still he, he did get bald a little early. So it is kind of, you know, genetics as well, basically. So there's nothing I can really do about it in that sense. But, you know, it kind of, it, it bugged me a little bit because, I mean, it was like, you know, I'm 24 years old and I'm already going bald and everything. And, and at the same time, I mean, I'm not like, I wasn't like hating the way that I looked or anything completely, but I just want to, you know, as I'm going through life and school and work and everything else, um, so many crazy things going on, I wanted to be able to not look like I'm stressed, if that makes sense. You know, like, because, you know, a lot of people like will say, like, you lose your hair because of stress or whatever. I don't know if that's true or not, but like, I wanted to to not look so old all of a sudden in a way, you know, and, and so me personally, I, I wanted to have hair back, I guess, you know, I'm only 24 years old and I, I wanted to have hair back. And so I, I looked into a couple different options. They have, well, they have a, a medication, which I, well, that it was too expensive. Insurance didn't cover it. And I was like, I'm not going to be taking some like pill or something for that. That just seemed too much for me. Um, they did have some sort of cream, which I tried it for a little while, and it it didn't really help. And it it just if it's something I have to consistently take on a daily basis, I'm not the best about keeping track of that sort of thing. So there were days where I missed it, and then if you're not consistently doing it all the time, it's not going to work. And and it chances are it's not always successful anyway. So that didn't work out the the cream thing. So there were other options, and and the other option out there is. A hair transplant surgery and so I actually went and got information about it and there's different types of, of, of surgeries and everything and I, you know I, I talked it over with, with my with my parents and everything and, and I really tried to I really tried to think about it and, and see if, if I if that's what I really wanted or, or what and I decided that it is and actually I kind of already had part of the hair transplant surgery so the way that the surgery works is the there are different types of surgeries you know they have a type where a hair transplant essentially you're taking your own hair so the hair that's up top here and towards like the scalp area this whole thing is not necessarily permanent like if you're going to go bald this is where you're going to lose it the hair on the sides and on the back of your head is your permanent hair uh, you will never lose that now it may like become slightly thin and it's not going to be as full as it was when you were younger but you'll never really lose that. So if you see somebody that's bald, you'll notice they still have the hair around the sides, unless they shave it off or something, but naturally, that's your permanent hair. And the way that a hair transplant works is they take pieces of your hair from the back and they put it up top. Um, 
they don't take like, you know, giant chunks so you notice it's missing, but they take little, little pieces there and it kind of thins your hair a little bit, but it's the way that they do it is it's really not noticeable at all. Um, you just kind of take little, little pieces here and there and put it up top. And there's different methods of doing it. There's a method where they make an incision on the back of your head and they cut out the, the pieces of hair and put it up top and that will leave a permanent scar. And I didn't want that. Um, and I found there's another method that they, that they do using a robot and the robot sucks out pieces of hair from the back and then sticks it in up top. So there's no scar or anything. Um, and all of this, because it's your permanent hair, it's guaranteed to work, basically. Um, so the more hair that you transplant, the, the thicker, you know, it will be there. So I ended up going with, their, like, they have graphs of hair, which are like the pieces of, of the little strands of hair. So I got 3,000 graphs in this hair transplant. I've done a thousand of them already. I had a procedure about two months ago. Um, so you may have noticed roughly about two months ago, there were a couple of videos, a couple of vlogs where I had a cap on. That's because that was right after the surgery. Um, and so Im immediately you could kind of notice a little strip of hair gone. Um, and because they had to kind of like cut it out and then they take the pieces of hair. Uh, now obviously it grew back slightly thinner, but like I can feel the back of my head here. People can look at it. You can't notice that anything is missing at all. Um, and then they put it up top right here. So right about here is where I got the 1,000 graphs of hair so far. Um, but I still have 2,000 more to go. So actually this Friday is the rest of my procedure. And that is going to be from like here up. So wherever my hairline is, it's going to go, you know, up to there. So that's going to be the, the big noticeable part. You know what I mean? This is kind of in the back there, but this is like the big noticeable part now. So that's happening on Friday. I'm getting the other 2,000 graphs of, of hair, basically. And so uh, initially, for the first few weeks, it's going to be noticeable because they're going to cut out the chunk of hair there. And obviously, they're, they're going to only take out certain pieces of it and put it up top, so the rest will regrow. Um, but uh, initially, you'll notice that. So... And initially, you'll see a lot of, like, little dots up top here, which is once they put it in there, it kind of, like... Um, all the incision holes and stuff, it'll kind of dry up and that part like washes off after a couple of days and everything. So initially, if you see, if I do any other vlogs or whatever next week or the week after, then I may be wearing a cap or something. So, um, that's what's going on there. And as part of the thing, every week I go, uh, for just once a week, about a half hour long, like laser treatments, which you just sit down in a chair and they have a little laser thing shining this laser light at you and... It's meant to like stimulate the growth. So you don't have to do it, but it kind of helps with it and everything. So um, I can basically sit there and just do whatever. So I'm on my phone half the time or whatever. So um, it's really a very simple thing that I do every week. But the actual procedure that's done, um, I did part of it, 1,000 grafts two, two months ago. And the other 2,000 grafts, the big part of it, is going to be this Friday. And it just it involves the first day... Um, at least the last time I can tell you what happened the first day I had a headache and because of the medications I was kind of you know sleeping for part of the day and resting and then after that I was basically fine I mean it felt a little weird the first few days and then after a while it was it was fine they 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 numb you know the back of your head when they do the procedure they, they numb it so you don't feel any of it they numb you know up here and everything and so for a couple of days the first week or so it is a little bit numb and obviously that feeling returns over time um but, uh, yeah, so, um, and, and part for the procedure, they gave me some medication <clears throat> and everything. So when I first went in, I was, I fell asleep and then I woke up for part of the procedure, fell asleep again, woke up again. And while I was awake, you know, I was asking them a couple questions and stuff too. Like I could, uh, I was aware of what was going on. I was awake, but I couldn't, it was numb basically. So it's, it's not really a difficult procedure or anything. <clears throat> it's just... It's a procedure, I guess. It's a pretty simple procedure, pretty, you know, short recovery time and everything, and I'll be up and running. I just, I can't know, like, heavy lifting just for a couple of days or something, but basically, Monday, I'll be back at work. I'll just be wearing a cap, and everything will be just fine after that, and then it'll take a few months. Like, after three, four months, you know, you'll start to notice it a bit. At six months, you'll start to have some there, and then, like, after a full year is when you'll have, like, that full set of hair. So it's been two months. And I can feel it growing in, and some people say if they look closely, they can start to notice it, so it's only been two months for that back part of it. But really, over the next year is going to be the main part, especially once I get the rest of it on Friday. Um, so, yeah, I kind of wanted to share that with all of you, because 
Uh, I mean, you watch the videos, you see me in front of the camera, and then over the course of the next year, you'll see the hair slowly start to grow back and everything. Um, and then, you know, I just kind of wanted to, to, to share that with you all. And, and I, I've made my decision. You know, you're going to have people with, with your own opinions on, on, you know, whether that was worth it or what. Because um, it is, you know, it can be an expensive procedure. Um, but I figured now was the time when... Um, I was able to, I'm healthy and, and thankfully, and, and I'm able to, to afford it thankfully. And so I figured if there was any time to do it now would be the time basically, especially that, you know, after a year I'll be graduating and everything. And it's kind of like, for me, it's sort of like once I'm done with school and everything, it's like I'm out into the world. I, it's like a big transformation for me in a way, inner and outer, I guess you could say. So, um, I, I wanted to do it for myself basically, you know, um, it was just my own my own thing where I wanted to be able to to look at myself and and not you know I have a very young spirit in a way like I feel like I always act like a kid you know, I'm an, I'm an inner child and, and I just I I love to have fun and everything and, and I want to express that on the outside too in a way so um, that that's my decision I'm sure there's gonna be people that that may not agree with that or whatever or um, and that's fine. That's that's up to you. But in the end, it was ultimately my decision, and, and that's what I chose. But I wanted to to share that with you all, basically. So, yeah. So that's kind of what's what's been going on and everything. And so this Friday, so will be that that procedure. It's in the afternoon. Uh, I think it's gonna be five, four or five hours long. The last one was like two, two and a half hours, and then I'm getting twice as much now. So uh, probably four or five hours long. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Depending on how I feel, I may or may not do a little vlog on the weekend or something. We'll see, but just letting you know, over the weekend, obviously, my, my video output of, of recording stuff will kind of slow down for a little bit temporarily, but then I will be back up and running after that. No, no problems after that. So yeah, just wanted to share that, and uh, I look forward to, to talking to you all afterwards in, in a couple months, in a year, when I have a full head of hair. That will be, that will be interesting as well. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So uh, that's that. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of share that with you all. So I hope you all found that kind of interesting or not, whatever. Uh, I just wanted to share that, that part of my life. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will have plenty more videos on the way coming up soon. So, so don't worry. Lots more stuff on the way. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.